Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Hunter Call of the Wild, we're here to take our first early access look at the Ambusher Pack and Cosmetics DLC. In this first video, we're going to be covering the Marauder Model 1894. It's a brand new rifle, and we're going to learn all about it right now. I'm going to go in depth talking about it, looking at it, testing it out of the range, then we're going to go out hunting all different classes to see what it's like. So this is the gun. So it's a 44 caliber lever action rifle were popular in the old west as they could share their ammunition with a revolver carried as a sidearm. The Marauder model 1894 is a modern take on this concept, pairing the design of a timeless classic with the versatility of rail mounted optics and the increased power of a 44 magnum cartridges. Um, its weight is three, accuracy is 80, reload speed is 57, Recoil is 43, hip shot 73, and magazine size is 6. Right, let's go on to what you're going to use with this gun. So you've got two types of bullets. You've got the 44 flat nose hard cast bullets, 10 of those in a pack. Now to get those, you need to unlock them with your handgun score. So if you haven't got them already, that's what you need to do. You might only have the hollow point bullets for a start. I'd recommend going hunting Plains Bison with the 454. Run at side of them, blast them, blast them. Keep doing that and you'll unlock those pretty quick. So they're what we're going to be using. They are the better ones of the two as well. So ideally that's what you want, especially at range. The main differences between the two is the penetration and the expansion, as you can see, and we'll go over now. So the effective range is 50 meters, penetration is 70, expansion 16, Recommended classes are 3 to 8. Now that's a large group. We're going to test them out on the range first. But then I'm going to test those classes. To see if we can actually go up to level 8. And uh, see if they're good at the big game. We're going to test them all from like low range. All the way up to the high range. And see if it does what it says on the tin. I want to see that. Especially on things like moose. Which are tanks anyway. But as you see the penetration will change. But these look it's 17 now. And the expansion is 70 but the range is the same it's just a penetration expansion changes around but the flat nose hard cast is what you want to really use so we've got these scopes you can use i'm going to be using the hyperion myself i think it's the best scope in the game but you can use whatever you want but i'm just showing you what you can actually stick on this maradi model 1894. so you've got a lot of variation sight wise you've got two different bullets you can use so let's have a look at the reload animation and the iron sight, shall we? So here we go. So this is what it looks like iron sighted. I like it's nice and simple, just a circle with a red line down the middle. Really simple, easy to use. Uh, well, we'll find that out in a minute when we go to the range. But it looks so simple. This is what it sounds like. So you can fire it quite fast. It reloads quick, as you can see. So it'll be interesting once we start shooting it, how easy it is and how accurate it is. I'm really looking forward to this. I did watch Jaxie do it in the stream the other day, but watching someone else do it and trying it yourself is a totally different thing. So I'm going to give it a run through at different ranges, iron sighted, with a sight on. We'll go for it like short range to maximum. Right, iron sighted first. We'll try up to 150 meters. We'll start at 50 for a start. So let's see how easy this is. How much recoil has it got? What's the iron sight like? Here it goes. Yeah, pretty simple. I've got to remember to reload because they're on infinite reload in shooting range. It's a bit different, so it catches your ass sometimes. Right, so 50 meters, very easy. Let's up it a bit. 100 meters, give that a try. We'll go to 150 meters. Realistically, you're not going to go much more than that with iron sighted. So 100 meters next. Yeah, not too bad. Got to allow for a bit of human error with no scope, but oh, that should have been come on. As you can see, it's not really hard at 100 meters. It'd be in the zone there. If it's going all over the shop, then I'd be worried, but that's quite easy, as you can see. Right, 150 metres next. I think that's about as far as I'd shoot iron sighted with 
this Marathi model 1894 and then we'll stick the scope on and try that out. Let's see how easy it is at 150. Realistically, you're not going to be shooting much more than this and it's not really that hard by the first shot. So it's even quite accurate at 150 meters. And I think that's down to how simple the iron sight is and it's clear. So if you haven't got a scope or can't carry it for weight reasons, as you can see, pretty tight pattern at 150 meters. Not too hard to do. That was a bit of a wayward shot. A bit of human error there. <laughs> but it's impressive, man. The gun is impressive, man. I can't wait to test it on some animals. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty easy even at 150. So let's get the sight on, shall we? Try 150. Yeah, let's try 150 for a start. And then I think we'll build up to the furthest range it can shoot realistically what you're going to use it at so this is 150 just shoot more or less on the dot slightly above actually it's just above got to remember to reload that <laughs> i keep forgetting right here we go but uh as you can see it's just slightly above just the dot flat shooting 150 so that's easy but that's what i'd expect We'll go to 300 next, I think. Try that out. See how this does. Now, realistically, I think this is a sort of range, 150 to 300, where you're going to be using this. Ooh, nearly got it first time. So, first milli dot. Ooh, so close. Is about right for 300. Let's just add to uh, use it anyway. As you can see, 300 meters, not far off. There we go. So that's pretty simple. So up to 300 meters, not really a challenge. It'll be interesting to see what it's like at 300 meters on big game, like big deer, uh, level six to moose. Whoa, can't wait to try moose at 300 meters with it. We'll see how good this gun is then. Let's try 400 meters, shall we? That's the thing about reviews testing. You don't know until you try it if it does what it says on the tin. But we're finding out now that it looks like it does. So, 400 meters. This was a bit harder. Where did we shoot with this? A bit of trial and error. So, nowhere near with that. I like to shoot off eye, basically. I don't range my shots. That way, once you get the distance down, you know exactly where to shoot. On the run, I can just go bang, bang. I can do quicker shots, basically. I've always done it by eye. I, I prefer to do it like this. And just notice a drop. Ooh, close there. So it's not too hard at 400. I don't know if I'd shoot animals at 400, but we'll see as we practice. This is my first time using it, so not doing bad for the first time. Very close. We're getting there. So it's just below the sort of second milli dot. And it's just a case of holding it steady and getting it back there. But yeah, we're in this sort of range. Look, we're mostly in the black. So 400 meters, and there we go. So it took us a few shots to dial it in. So it's just about the second milli dot, just above it. Just got to hold it steady. And you'll be in the ballpark. Right. On to 500 meters. Now, I'm not holding any hopes for this. 500 meters on some guns is not too bad, but this, I'm I thinking this is going to be tricky. But we'll give it a try. We might as well. You never know. It's surprising me up to yet. And uh, we're going to go test some animals in a minute. So I've not shot anything with it either. So we're going to learn all about it today and how good this gun is. So where do we should start at 500? A little bit above. Let's try in between. Nowhere. Mm, a bit below. So in between that. A bit better. So with practice, I think you probably could get it in the sort of range. But um, it's not ideal. You wouldn't be taking it on a trophy animal. Unless I've spent all day here for about a week getting it dialed in. 
Oh, so close. So yeah, it's, it's, it's possible. You can get the 500s, but it's not really ideal. Oh, come on. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's doable. It's not ideal. I think for most hunting, 150 to 300, that's what most people are use it at. But as you can see, with a bit of practice, even up to 500, you could probably get it into, but 150 to 300 with a scope, I think, really, realistically. So what are you thinking up to yet of the Marathi Model 1894? Do you like it? The Ambusher Pack and Cosmetics DLC will release on the 10th of October. The price is 4 dollars across the board. So with the other items, which is the Stenberg Takedown Recopo, we're going to test that out. We've also got the Quist Red Pro Electronic Caller and obviously what we're testing today, the Marathi Model 1894. So three items, $4.99. I think this is going to be good value. This is looking like it could be a really good rifle. We'll know as soon as we test out on animals how good it really is. But iron sights, I'd shoot 50 to 150 meters max. Scope, I'd shoot 150 to 300. Realistically, Bit of practice, yeah, I could nail 400 meters shots, I think quite consistently, but ideally, if it was a trophy, I'd stick between the 150 to 300 meters, really. Right, we're gonna try that 300 meters on every animal now, going up the levels. So, first of all, we're gonna be trying whitetail, because obviously they're one of the most popular species in the game. 300 meters, I found a nice book. Let's see how it does on this. My first shot at a first animal, 300 meters, and it's going to be a white tail. Let's see how this Marathi model 1894 does. Hopefully I don't mess it up. So there we go. Look at his health drop. And he's down already. <laughs> I didn't think it dropped that easily. That's insane. That is insane. So let's see where we shot it. We double lunged it. It went straight through, even part of the shoulder. 300 meters. So yeah, there's no problem with whitetail. 300 meters, double lung. Yeah, I'm impressed. I actually didn't think at like 300 meters or above on some of the bigger like deer and stuff. Uh, I thought it might struggle. But we're gonna try bigger and bigger and bigger all the way up to moose. And uh, we're going to see. And I'm going to shoot them all at like 300 meters. So we get a sort of comparable comparison of uh, what it can actually do. Right. Next on to another super popular species, fallow deer. Because you never know. There might be some differences. I know they're the same level as whitetail deer. But uh, we might as well try it. But the thing with this one is, I'm going to shoot it sort of like diagonal on. So we're going to be going through the shoulder. It's not just a broadside. So this is a bit more trickier shot. 300 meters again. So that was through the shoulder blade, not even just a broadside on, and it dropped very quickly. So very impressed with that. Like I say, I want to test this because it's all right saying it can do this. Now we're seeing it can do this. So where did we actually hit it? So yes, it went through the sort of shoulder and through both double lungs. So this is going to be a very popular gun. It ranges from three to eight. We know it does whitetail easy. We know it does fallow deer easy. Both of these reserves, Medved, for example. Imagine what you can do on Medved, for example. Um, you can go grind wolves, the boars, lynx, moose. I can't wait to try moose. We're definitely gonna try moose. Um, but if it does moose as well, it's like on most reserves, this is gonna be an all round gun that can actually do the animals, you know what I mean? You'd think it might struggle on the bigger ones, and that's what we're going to test out now because we're going to hunt a red deer. Got a legendary in front of me, 300 meters. So now we're up in the game now. We're getting on to the big stuff. So red deer is next. They're level six. So let's see how these do at 300 meters. I'm just going to get it to like bang on 300 meters, and then we're going to have a go at this legendary. Is it going to single lung it? Is it just going to body it? Hopefully, if I'm accurate. We'll soon see. Right, here it goes. Give me a second. First milli dot, 300 meters. 
and it's done. <laughs> it's done so easy. Look at that. Level six. Red deer. Instead, straight down. Can't fault that, can you? <laughs> I hope you're surprised as I am. 300 meters on a red deer, instead. I'm very impressed now. I didn't think that would do that. I thought it'd single lung it, to be honest. But here we go, we're gonna collect it. We'll see where we hit it now. So, where did we get it? Look at that. We even went through like the leg bone muscle, heart, lung. Absolutely amazing. 300 meters. Can't say any more. I'm absolutely gobsmacked, to be honest. I actually thought we'd get like a single lung on like level sixes to eights um, on the bigger stuff. But it looks like, no, it's definitely better than I thought. So I'm very impressed. Very impressed indeed. So now the final frontier. Now we're going to try the real big boys, the moose. Everybody knows the mooses are tanks. Even with the big guns, they take some knocking down. And a lot of people swear when they shoot them and they run off. So now we're going to do 300 meters on a moose. Now here's the real proving grounds. I'm sort of anxious to do this, but here we go. First milli dot. And there it goes. Bit it. There's no way that's down already. No way. <laughs> if that's down already, then I'll, that's, I don't know. I'll eat my hat. <laughs> So what can I say? We've gone up all the sort of big levels. We've tested out smaller deer, white tail deer, fallow deer, red deer, which I thought they struggled on, ace those, moose. You seen how far that moose ran? And look, and that's why, heart, left lung. Looks like it went through the left lung, into the heart, 300 meters, no problem at all. So it is a valid moose gun as well. So what it says, it does. It's good for level three to eights, even on moose. So I don't know what to say. It is now in the top three guns you can get for the Hunter Call of Wild. Maybe in the top two, really, for versatility, if you add that in. What are you doing? Get out. And here's another reason. <laughs> A protection gun. It fires fast, reloads quick. Ideal for wolves. I love it when things go off script, you just don't know what's happening next. But as you can see, it's valid for wolves as well. They're in uh, the rangers. So if you get attacked just like you do, like when we're filming and I don't know it's going to happen, <laughs> you can see it's valid. So, uh, <laughs> kind of one. Right, all right then. You want to see what it's all about? Come and test the Marauder. This costs you your life. But it's been interesting filming. And I've been loving testing this out. But as you can see, wolves are not safe either from the Maradi model 1894. What a fun video. I've really enjoyed this. I didn't think this gun was going to be as good as it is for the Ambusher Pack and Cosmetics DLC. But I've been pleasantly surprised. I'm glad I've reviewed this Maradi model 1894 for this new DLC. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'm on a tube. We've been testing out the Ambusher Pack and Cosmetics DLC. First video for it. Testing out the Maradi model 1894 it's amazing it comes out 10th of october price is 4.99 on the hunter call of wild please subscribe to our youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye